Hi everybody, welcome to the Wonder Basement. I'm gonna flip the phone around and we're gonna go on the tour. Okay, here we are. Um, this is my Wonder Basement, just kind of a, a perusal. Um, it was dubbed the Wonder Basement by some of my customers years ago because we have this little pony wall in between the two spaces and um, this is actually where my kids and my friends' kids would play and then that back room um, over here is actually my son's office right now, but um, it used to be the toy room, what we call the toy room. So we had the kids in a contained space. So um, I'm gonna start out right here. Um, you will obviously see my uh, love for Ray Dunn as we walk through the Wonder Basement tour. Um, I have all kinds of hutches. I have found, um, I redid my space about two years ago, or about a year ago, and um, it all started with hutches. I have to say. Um, these are fantastic things to um, get secondhand and you can paint them and make them uh, beautiful. They work great for staging your cards and things. Um, I have um, gotten some shelves and hooks and I still have, my quest was when I redid my space was to get rid of all plastic. Well, that's just not feasible. So um, as we walk through, um, I have this is kind of where I keep my envelopes and all of my things that are, um, you know, my trash bags. Um, cause you know, as crafters, we have lots of trash. Um, this is kind of my, um, odds and ends where I have some of my jewelry things, different crafts that I want to um, do, not necessarily stamping up. I have um, scrapbooking um, things that I've had over the years. Um, you know, it's not very often people will show you what's in their drawers, I'm just saying. Um, these are all the little things that I refer to and I kind of, it's kind of a raw material space. Um, I have envelopes and cello bags and that kind of thing. Um, I think it's more fun when you can see what's in my stuff. These are some old antique bulbs that I still haven't done anything with, but aren't those adorable? Someday, one Christmas, it'll 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 all come together. Um, and my office is never truly in a um, perfect state of organization because that's just not how I live. Um, right here, I have a project that I was working on a couple years ago, and um, you know I've got some bags in here and. I have made, um, aren't these cute? I got these from Pick Your Plum years ago. Um, let me show you. These are some little um, head uh, scrunchie bands that I was going to make and sell at a craft fair. These are some of the people that I love very much. Um, I have uh, my computer um, station with my printer. Um, I have some old Coke crates that I put... Um, Sometimes you just gotta get them in the general vicinity. You know what I'm saying? They don't necessarily all have to be pretty like that. But um, this, is, this is where I put my punches. And actually, Jeff made this piece of furniture like when he was in high school. So it's, it used to be a stereo system. So have my pick machine for my flowers. Um, this is another one of my little hutches that I repainted with some chalk paint, some uh, Joanna Gaines chalk paint. And um, I love this stuff. I highly recommend it. You can see it's super smooth and delicious. And it was one of the old, kind of a light maple colored, early American hutch. And they can be kind of, um, I don't know, they kind of looked outdated. But now with a little bit of paint, and these actually have brass um, pulls on them that, I really love them. While everyone in the mid-century modern craze was going, my family was all about Tell City Furniture and the very early American style. So this is my Big Shot station, if you hadn't noticed. Um, some of my paper pumpkins are here, actually. Like I said, it's not all perfect. These are some old, um, these are old story or some storage boxes that Stampin' Up! used to carry, and I have all my um, embossing and uh, cutters in there, except for my new ones. Here are all my new ones that I haven't actually used a whole lot. But I have these little guys. So you can see that it just is a great place to get a lot of stuff, you know, in a place. I have found that keeping my place clean is 
it helps me be more creative and it helps me to have a place for everything. I can clean things up really quickly. This is some of my vinyl that I um, use. It has a, some more Big Shot stuff and then I have a couple of Big Shots that I need storage for. So this is just some odds and ends extra stuff that I have. I hope I'm not boring you to tears, so. Um, okay, so this is a um, card case. Oh, sorry, I should shut that door, but this is my eBay room and my game room and my room I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with. We are in the process. Our kids are um, not quite out of the nest yet, and we just have a lot of crap gathered around. But you can see I really love those Ikea storage bins. Got a lot of those. That's all of, um, Joey sells retired stuff on Stampin' Up! as his business. And um, so that's kind of his organization um, system in there. But this I wanted to show you about. This is a card, um, a card rack that we got from, actually Jeff got it for my birthday one year when he asked Susan and Sherry what I wanted for my birthday or what he could get. And they told him this and I love it. It is so cute. It was from the Pottery Barn. It's the only thing I've ever owned from the Pottery Barn. And um, this is, I just keep some of my um, banners and things. Sometimes I put cards on it. Sometimes I, um, this was from a couple of years ago when I was a presentation stamper at, um, or sample stamper at one of the uh, Stampin' Up! events. And, um, so anyway, love that. If you can get your hands on one, I highly recommend it. Um, I have always had my rulers right here on the wall and a cutting um, pad so that I can, or mat, so that I can cut with my X-Acto if I need to. Um, I'm gonna step back here, give you a kind of a quick look, overall view. Um, up here I have, these are like just some, um, clipboards and some extra paper. Mainly I have that red thing up there because I love it and it's a plate holder and a mug holder and I just like it up there. So uh, I figured out something to put in it. The Pepsi boxes have my glitter. Um, and then on the top I have a, a silhouette. Uh, I can't think of what it's called, but it's the stamp machine. And so that is all contained up there. And then I have um, basically all of my actual Stampin' Up! stuff is on this wall. I have adhesives at the top in the Coke box. And then I have my painting and acrylic stuff in the wire baskets. I have all my spritzers. And then I have um, on the corner right here, I have um, my heat guns and hair dryers because you just, sometimes when you're working with wet stuff, you need something to dry it a little quicker than natural time because we're impatient. So, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna delve into some of this stuff. Um, this is just odds and ends stuff. And, you know, I had to have a place for my Radon holder, whatnots it. So I um, put my, I've got all my watercolor pencils, some of my favorite brushes and just odds and ends pens and pencils. Um, this is my paper storage system. And I've had it for almost, oh, probably 20 years because I did it early on. Um, I tried open storage for my papers, but I found that even the, even being in the basement, just the little bit of light that we get from our west facing um, window was fading some of my uh, cardstock. So I switched over to putting them in. I made from, I think they're 11 by 17 file folders and you take two and you um, make them into one like really long, I think it's like, here, I'll just show you. It's like, I found it on the internet years ago. So it's 13 by 15 width. So, um, and what I do is, oops. Um, so I have all of my, um, I, I put, these are all my scraps. These are everything that I have that is in a color family. I put them in color families and then I have a uh, white, very vanilla, uh, glossy, even though it goes in and out, I keep a space for it. Cause sometimes I use it in some of my other stuff. 
And then I have all my in colors back here. And then I have a place for thick cardstock, but that hasn't worked so well. So I knew, I'll show you where I keep that here in a second. These are just some business files. And that it, it is cool because I can have all my order forms and stuff in the front, just in a regular file folder. And then this is where all of my, um, uh, you know, cards are. So that's how I do that. About every five years I have to go through and redo them because, you know, it just discolors and it looks kind of yucky. And these little, um, I think they're called, I want to say a Z cart. I got them from Home Depot or Staples Office Max years ago. So I don't even know if you can find them anymore. I would think there would be something similar. And then on the bottom, I just have bags and it's kind of a dust collector down there. So I try not to keep anything too terribly important. Okay. So I've got an old cropper hopper that I use for all of my, um, whole sheets of cardstock. And then I've just got them in here. I've got, um, the in colors and then all the four categories of paper. And this is, this just gives me a place where I can, you know, I, I like it again because it, the, it keeps the light out. It's at a minimum and I don't really have anything um, fade this way. Um, you can see over here with my little holder, I have some overstock runs up here and some discontinued things and yada yada. Um, they, I really love these, these carts. I think they're iris carts and I ta I've taken the wheels off because I put this cabinet in years ago too and um, I didn't think I would like these guys up here, but it actually works really well. The cabinet is sturdy enough to hold them. And I've got everything categorized. This is a mini in celebration 2020, uh, 2019, 2020 annual catalog. My very uh, vanilla and white cardstock because I tend to have a lot of extra of that. Um, my specialty papers, um, which is the foil and the glimmer paper. And then I have my specialty papers, watercolor, shimmer, thick cardstock, vellum, laser cut, all that stuff is in there. And then you can see I have some other collections that this is just one that I had that um, I bought together at a scrapbook store and I just, I love it. So I just keep it kind of straight. And then this is all my non stampin' up stuff because I've been a scrapbooker for years and I am not going to throw away this paper that I love. And um, when I know that I will use it eventually. So that's that. Um, I found these great. Now you'll see I have some of the Stampin' Up! storage uh, units and I do like them a lot. Unfortunately, I had just purchased these little guys at TJ Maxx and um, when I was redoing my uh, basement and I really like these because I can, you know, pull out what I need. I'm going to be doing some on the road classes and I have a feeling that I will maybe take these to, um, you know, take some things on the road. But for stationary stuff, I really like this. The the um, carts I have under here, again, I've got them into cutting tools and stamp cleaners, Versamark, metallic inks. This is just how I've worked for years. I have a glue gun and um, glue stick box, and that's kind of all the weird adhesives that you gather over the years. My family, I mean, everybody uses in the whole house uses out of that. And then I've got my new adhesives on the bottom and then my stuff I've been using out of the top. That's just kind of, this is all like overflow or um, packages. Cause again, I have to see my stuff. This is all of my current uh, Stampin' Up! stamps that I have. And Honestly, I try to limit myself to keep, keeping them between one and two cards. Um, you can see in here when um, that I have a lot of discontinued stuff. So that's Joey's deal. He is working on doing that. Then you move over. Oh, I'm going to turn my, I have these cute little lamps. So I'm just going to, my husband hung all these lamps for me because the just the lights um, in the ceiling. It wasn't quite light enough down here because I, at night especially, I need to have some uh, things to see or some lights to see with because I don't like to craft in the dark. So this is my little living uh, succulent area. I love succulents and plants. I have some orchids and um, just repotted all of these. I just love these guys. They are so much fun to grow. They're just beautiful. I talk to them every morning. Here, I'm gonna turn this on. Now over here, this is kind of where my, um, I got an extra little um, 
string of pearls. So I'm kind of in the mood of collecting those and I'm going to repot those into some plants like this. And then I'm going to, or pots like this. And then I'm going to actually have my husband put some hooks in my ceiling, but I digress. So anyway, this is, um, these are just some, uh, basic bookshelves that I got at Ikea. I find all this stuff on clearance, man. I'm like always looking at furniture clearance and what I, how I can store stuff. So got these, I think they were like $15 a piece. So I'm talking serious clearance. Um, this, these are just some odds and ends. I try to keep extra, um, containers down here. I've got some button, um, components here that I make that I use. I've got some classes that I've taken, um, on this shelf that I, are reference books. I have my collection of, um, this is kind of a fun little thing. My father-in-law is a wood carver. And so I actually have my own flex cut, um, carving knife. And here are some little angels that I've done. So that was like my first, um, I've got some, and here's some little Santas. So, you know, I mean, crafts are, oh, I think this is, is this my boot? I don't remember if this one's mine or this one's mine. Joey and I and um, Patrick all went for um, some carving lessons. And so these are some of our boots that we carved. I think this one's mine. I'm not 100% sure. We didn't mark that. My, my father-in-law would be really annoyed, but I do know this one's mine this little guy. So, um, yeah, I have all kinds of things in the wonder basement. It's kind of like, um, a miniature craft store, actually, I guess I've collected quite over the years and I enjoy sharing. So this is my, um, my fabric things are in those totes. And then this is all of my sewing items. Like I have felt thread patterns over the years, stencils, um, up here, I have all of my um, beading components. This is all the stuff. I decided that I love looking at my beads. They're so pretty. Aren't they pretty? Look how sparkly they are. So I just enjoy those. Um, my button machines and all my button components. And then I have all my notebooks that I use, my catalogs. Um, this is another cool uh, piece of like furniture that, um, you'll see, you know, see these at garage sales and pick them up pretty cheap. I painted this one for my son and then he decided he didn't need it or didn't want to use it. And man, I'm kind of glad he didn't because I really like it. I can set it up right next to my workspace and I have a little extra table space and it's just great for storing stuff. And these little guys, you know, they, they pop down. So if you need to have more space, you can clear it off and put it down. This is actually my um, the heartbeat of my creative space. I have all of my, um, open adhesives that I use, my scissors, pens, pencils, cutters, um, all of my, um, accessories, my markers, that kind of thing. Um, see, I, and see, I'm going to show you how, when you have all this stuff kind of organized, you can clean it up pretty quickly. I was uh, re-inking some, um, or inking some spots last night. So I'm going to just, that's all together. I have some on the table. I'll put those all back, put that in and stick it right back over there and it's done. And, you know, even if I run out of time and I have to do it quickly, at least I know it's all in the same space. This is another hutch that I got and um, painted. Um, I bought three at one time from another store. And then I, people were like, oh, you want a hutch? You want a hutch? So I got this gray one. It was also a maple one that I um, painted and distressed. And this is kind of where I set up a lot of vignettes um, with just things that I like. I like the, um, you'll see, I have my little jars that I have all scraps of colored ribbon. I've got them done by colors. I still have a little bit of uh, winter Christmas stuff up, but then I've got Valentine's. This is our, um, this is my station for all the stuff we're doing this weekend. So we're excited about that. Um, I also, it gives me a reason to order a lot of stuff from Decor Steels. I love that place and this is my happy place. I have a lot of 90% of the stuff you see, I've pr probably purchased Hobby Lobby or DecorSteals.com. So highly recommend that place. Um, scored this typewriter. This is just pretty. It just makes me happy to look at it. And all the kids really get a kick when they come over and, um, you know, see the original 
printing system <laughs> of a typewriter. So scored that at an auction. And then this is my great grandmother and my great grandfather who I knew and loved dearly, Cleo and Estelle. Um, Cleo lived to be 92, I think. And um, she was, and I, I just remember going to their house. It, so they are, she is kind of an inspiration between for me about another business I have called Cleo and Frizz. Um, that website, I've taken it down because I'm going to combine it back into the Wonder Basement. But um, yeah, so they're inspiration. They were farmers and so you can see the rake and that's just, that's part of who I am. So again, I got some more of these little uh, boxes at uh, TJ Maxx because you know we like TJ Maxx. And um, then this is just the I, I got this cleaned out so that I could have a couple of just uh, chairs so people could sit down and hang out and enjoy the space. Oh, this is my felting stuff, which that's a new addition to my space. I'm not sure I like it there, but it's good for now. Um, then also we have, this is the view. So see, we could be crafting over here. I have a little kitchenette. It's kind of a mess right now, but um, the kids could be playing on the other side and we would just have a ball. Um, we do most of our filming from this space so that you're actually seeing this in our background. So that's kind of what we're doing. And um, I do have uh, some uh, stamp bags that I have quite a few. I have some in, um, I think this is Curry and then Posy. And then I have some Pacific Point bags and they are... Um, these are bags that I sell. I don't, I'm gonna try and get those up so that they're on the website for this weekend. But if you would like one, you can comment and they are, um, they are $19.99. And um, on this weekend, probably for 24 hours, they'll be, out, they'll be on sale for $14.99 plus shipping. Um, so if you would like one, and obviously um, I can put your name on it, but this is for, um, I designed it for a stamp camp for all the demonstrators, but you know what? We're all creative directors of our lives, so you can just enjoy um, enjoy the bags. They're really cool. They have um, nice, sturdy um, stitching, so they've got a pocket on the inside. They've got a gusseted bottom, and they are fantastic. They've got a pocket on the outside as well, and um, this is my own artwork that I had done up on those, so if you'd like one, just comment below, and we'll get you one. Uh, you can pay me through PayPal. We'll we can work out the details. So anyway, I guess that's everything in my Wonder Basement. And I'm glad you got to come and spend a few minutes with me. And I can't wait for the rest of the day. This will probably go live in the middle of the night. And um, if you happen to be up seeing it, then uh, more power to you. And if you're asleep, I am glad that you're back with us when you do watch it. Have a great day. And I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Wonder Basement.